Hello, Andy B 2000 here, and uh, I thought we'd do a little bit of electronics today. So, gonna have a look inside. It's just a cheapy set of outdoor lights. Now, the idea is it comes with this solar panel, a couple of buttons on the back, and when the solar panel gets covered up, the lights come on and start doing the sequence. Now, I'm not sure if you can see them properly, but they're reasonably bright. I quite like them. They've got quite a few different settings as well. If I go through the different settings, things like that. I'll just leave them on like that for now. I'm not sure if the camera can make this out, but it looks like they're just the standard sort of little balls with the LED jammed inside and it's glued in. So they don't just pop off so you can't change them easily but never mind so inside here we've got uh, so one two three four five six seven eight of the solar arrays and on the back we've got the on off power switch and the mode button that changes the the sequence now the instructions say that it won't charge when it's turned off so just to uh, just to be aware of that. So let's turn it off and let's have a look inside. So it looks fairly simple to get inside this one. Might as well apologise now. I mean, uh, I'm on my new workbench, but I don't have a top for it yet. So these are just some temporary boards that I've rigged up and they're a bit wobbly so I'll apologize now if the camera wobbles about a little bit now the other thing I'm not sure um, maybe if you notice this you can comment as well whether you're getting a slight shimmer from the lights I'm using here because I'm using standard tube lights that I just picked up cheap from a DIY place and I'm not sure whether they cause a bit of shimmer on the camera so if they do then uh, then I think what I might do is change to use LED lighting instead so we'll see how this goes so there we go there's the four screws out now it's actually not ah oh, there we go oh there we are very simple inside as you can see there's the two switches labeled switch one and switch two we've got our ah oh there we go nickel metal hydride 600 milliamp hours 1.2 volt battery and actually that's that's quite nice that they've put it in like that so very light actually and we can see the little circuit board here now I don't think the circuit board is held on with much ah there's a that's good there's a rubber seal around the outside I was wondering what what stopped the electronics from getting soaked because obviously this is intended to be out all the time so I think what I'll do is I think all we've got on this board if you can see right at the bottom is a little inductor um, but there must be a control chip, so I think it must be on the other side. So I'll pause now and get the uh, get the board out. Well, as you can see, I got the board out. It's quite simple. On these little plastic pins, they've got one of them had been melted just so it uh, so it held it. So I just snipped that off and you can see now I can get at the back of the circuit board now taking a closer look into it we have just this thin metal trace here going straight from the solar panel onto negative so negative is constantly connected like that and the white wire is the other wire coming from the solar panel and the white wire comes in it goes through this diode here and then it goes up to the red connection the red connection goes to battery so so contrary to what the instructions say the 
battery will get charged regardless of whether it's turned on or off so we can test that out so we can bring the multimeter in it's on DC and voltage and what I'll do is I'll just put it across the battery terminals now obviously it's turned upside down so this, this is where it gets a little bit tricky to try to balance things and obviously we're indoors as well on artificial light but you can see we're getting 0 0.6 volts which drops out when I when I dip it so we are getting a little bit let's just have a look and see what the state of this battery is actually this should be 1.2 1.25 obviously there's no load on that but at least it's showing idle at about the right voltage so yes and on the back we can see there's two controller chips here that they've used now this one here has got no markings whatsoever on it no labeling anything like that so I suspect that will be the one that controls the different speed and things like that other than that not very much going on on this board at all So it's a fairly simple design really. Let's uh, put the battery back in and just check it's still working. There we go. So it still works. So I think actually I'm going to put this one back together because there's nothing much interesting inside here. It's all fairly basic electronics. I like I do like having that battery there. So I think I'm going to put this one back together and see how it works see if it works all right outside see how long it lasts for so I do hope you've uh, you've enjoyed this one very very quick little tear down but uh, there we go so if you if you come across one of these in the pound shops not bad design so uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, do please comment rate and of course if you want to see more of this and some of my other videos to do with car fixes, DIY hacks, things like that, then please do subscribe.